shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. I hope you're all well. If this is the first time that you've seen me this year, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. Hopefully it's not going to be like 2021 and 2020, but you know, we are moving on with a positive mental attitude. Um, today we're going to look at something, a, a flashlight from a company that I've, I've not worked with before and I've never really tested or, or owned any of their products. So full disclosure, Wuben got in touch with me and asked if I would like to test out uh, one of their flashlights. So today we are having a look at the Wuben H5 and again I hope I, hope I pronounce Wuben right. Um, I think that's how it's pronounced. But they got in touch and asked if I would like to test this out and as I do with all of the manufacturers that I work with, it's all under the proviso that everything that is said today, this isn't a sponsored piece of content, um, although they sent this to me free of charge, um, all of the opinions that are given today are, are completely mine. And I, I have to say, for, for a, a little EDC flashlight, I'm, I'm genuinely really impressed with this. I think there are a lot of positives for this little light and this clip that, that that comes as standard with it. So rather than keep talking about it, we'll get straight into this. While I'm turning the camera around, if at any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. 2022, I'm trying to see if I can build on my likes and subscriptions, so that would be absolutely amazing. But for now, let's turn the camera around and take a closer look at the H5. Now the wind, the wind's just picked up, so I do apologise if you can hear the wind in the background. Hopefully it won't be um, too loud or too distracting. So, as mentioned, here is the Wuben H5. Now, I have to mention, certainly before we start this, what you're looking at here is is the flashlight itself, which is which which is this part, um, but it also comes as standard with this clip. The way that I've been using this, I've not actually took it out of this clip just because this clip is so small and so light and compact that it's made more sense to keep it in this uh, in in the in the way that I've the way that I've been using it. But if you wanted to, and I certainly I'll show you here how to, you just unscrew the end cap uh, and then it comes out. Now I think this is the bit that maybe needs a little bit more finesse, but we'll we'll certainly get back to that. Um, and then you screw this back on and there you have the light itself. Now, as we usually do, we'll go through some measurements, some materials, and then some features of the light itself. Actually, do you know what? Before we do, let's, let's go into the unboxing. I'm not an unboxing style channel, however, I thought it would be useful to do this. I, I, I love the packaging. I like the, the kind of playfulness of this. You got the little dude that's clearly out with this, with this strap to his forehead. Um, but what you get in here, and just to show you the packaging on this is actually really, really, really nice. Maybe if I leave that there as well, if anybody wants to pause this at this point, you can see how um, the light works. You can it gives you the details for whether you use the included rechargeable battery or if you choose to use a double A battery in there as well. Um, but to open this up, what's included in here, there's the instructions that just seem to fly away for a second. Uh, you get a charge cable, uh, you get uh, some more little O-rings, there is a lanyard at the back there and then there is also this head clip. Now the head clip for this, although I had to put I had to put it back in the box, I got it set up perfectly for my huge head. Um, is where this clip comes into uh, into its own. But as I'll hopefully show you, you know, there's there's more that the, that you can use um, from this clip. But I thought I'd go through the unboxing just so that you can see the extra things that you get in the box. Now I'll just move all of this. Okay, so here is the light itself, if we can get this bad boy in focus. Um, measurements wise, as you, hopefully as you can see, you know, it, it's a really nice and compact light. Carrying this on an EDC basis in my pocket for the last few months has 
you know it's just been very very easy um, when you compare this to other similar sized EDC lights it's very small it's very compact and just disappears whilst it's in your pocket um, for the measurements it comes in at 72 millimeters at its uh, at its shortest which which it would be uh, the the end here which is the the, the tail cap um, it is 20 2.8 millimeters we've certainly gone very dark i don't know what's happening with my camera at the moment but it's trying to adjust the light um but yes yeah, so this comes in at 22.8 millimeters it is wider here at the top at the head hopefully you can see that there is a step up there and it's just about well it says that it's about a millimeter but that's because this steps down to there it looks like it's larger um, but with the size of the head here it comes in at 23.8 millimeters so it's just a little bit bigger completely structured constructed from aluminium which helps to reduce the weight um, but it's nice and tough certainly not you know it, it, like most of these modern flashlights tend to be made from that 60 61 60 63 aluminium it's anodized to make sure that it looks nice and new for as long as possible. Um, because it's made from aluminium with the battery in here, it comes in at only 63 grams. Being able to have this on your head with the strap certainly makes it really, really easy. You don't certainly feel that it's there. And with this additional little clip, um, this again, I, I don't know how much it weighs. I'm, I'm gonna guess an extra maybe 15 to 20 grams it, it's made from plastic uh, there's some magnets here on the back but you know it is very very light and having the two together um, makes perfect sense for me um, now I did mention so you do get you do get a charger with this and the battery hopefully if you can see if I turn this around there are no charging ports on the outside that is because you charge the battery directly with this so you unscrew the end and here you can see you have the battery it's a 14500 battery uh, and there at the end is a USB type C charger so when you're out and about, if you want to be able to charge this, you have to remove this. It's a bit of an inconvenience. However, the extra convenience, or at least the extra, I suppose, security that you get is when you have this on, and again, I, <laughs> I don't know why I always test this, but I always do. But when you start to screw on this thread, there's very little play in there and then when you start to screw it in there isn't there is an o-ring there um, it's very smooth very very smooth the tolerances on this are very good um, it locks in there you get IP68 uh, rating on this so it's pretty much the highest that it will go because there are no additional ports to get any sort of water dust or debris into any of the modules on here it is just this end cap the end cap is also magnetized oh where's my knife let me just grab my knife here's my knife so it will clip onto that um, if you're needing to attach it to anything it will attach to that just as an extra point which I only realized today just because I put it in my pocket and it was stuck to this knife so the the small clip here if you wanted to keep it on this clip and you you're like oh but I can't use the battery anymore there's actually batteries uh, batteries <laughs> sorry <laughs> You can't use the magnet anymore. There's actually magnets on the back of this. There are three in here. You can actually see them. Well, you might not be able to see them. If I see if I can catch it in the light. There's three magnets on the inside of this clip. So if you wanted to keep it uh, still in this little clip, cradle style thing, you can leave it in there and still be able to securely magnetize this two different things. Now, these three magnets aren't as strong, unfortunately, as this one but it still does a very good job of being able to hold it in place if you if you did want to uh, to to attach it to something here is the on and off button it is a nice simple click to turn it on it is a single click to turn on I do prefer a double click to turn on I find that a double click for on um, make sure that it doesn't turn on in your pocket as much I will have to say though 
this light turned on a lot in my pocket. I don't know why, maybe if this was moved to the back here, if there was a way that they could do this. Um, but in, I think most of the flashlights that I've tested recently, this was the one that I bought out of my pocket and found that it had turned on while it, whilst it was in my pocket, which is a shame, but I think there must be a way that they could deal with this or sort this maybe just making this a longer press to actuate that to, to to be able to turn it on i don't think that would be something difficult um, but when it's on uh, this turns blue the led in here shows you when it's on when it's off um, also when it turns red you, you, you know you need to be able to charge it whilst i was going to say whilst it's charging but there is there is no kind of charge indicator because you have to take the battery out in order to be able to charge this now, it does work, and let's just get the battery out again. These 14500 batteries, if you see, these are the same size as AA batteries, which I think is another huge advantage for this flashlight. If you are out and about and you realize that this is out of, bat or out of charge, then you can pick up a AA battery, which are, you know, AA's, AAA's, possibly the easiest batteries to get wherever you are in the globe. And then you can just put those straight in there, so you don't necessarily have to worry about taking taking an external charger or something like that with you to be able to charge this if you have AA batteries you can put them in and hey presto it just works now I will give you when we have a look at the, uh, the the lumens that you get from this it is slightly different and you get different times from whether you have um, the, the 14500 battery in here or you have one or you have a double a battery instead so I'll be able to give you both of those now as I mentioned it is a, a it's a single press for on single press for off there is also a long press and there is also, um, sorry, I'll turn that off. There is also a double press, which is your uh, uh, SOS. There's no, there's no strobe with this. It, it simply is just SOS. So, if you hold it down, there is memory on this. You can then long press, and it will cycle through each of the different lumen levels, from low. This, sorry, from moonlight to low, to medium, to high. If you want to get to low, or sorry, if you want to get to lumen, there is a quick, um, a, a, a quick shortcut to lumen, and that is a long press. Hold it down for a few seconds, and it will it will take you to um, take you to moonlight. When you're on moonlight, with, with with some other ones where you have to then come out of moonlight to be able to then access all of the other settings, all of the the different modes, it doesn't do that with this. You can actually just go straight into the others. Long press for low, medium and then high so that's I, I think again that's a that's another pretty good advantage with this the memory will remember what the last setting that you're on if you are worried that you might be on high you don't want to wake someone or something like that then when it's off keep your finger on low uh, keep your finger on the on button for a few seconds and it will come on to the moonlight mode okay so to go through some of the information for each of these the, these different modes and as i say i'll give you the battery uh, the rechargeable battery and i'll give you the double a uh, information so the low mode or the moonlight i keep saying low low i mean moonlight the moonlight mode on this is one lumen if you re, if you're using the rechargeable battery on a full charge you'll get 120 hours out of that if you're using a double a battery you'll get 80 hours out of that I really do like loop moonlight modes I know I talk about moonlight modes a lot on this channel um, but for me I just prefer moonlight mode you can't really use it when you're out and about but I, I think this is the main use that I've used for this is when I've been in the house, house trying to find things and I think moonlight modes re really are great so long press will then take you onto the low mode in um, the, the, the low mode for both of the batteries is exactly the same it is uh, 50 lumens if you're on the rechargeable battery you'll get seven hours out of that if you're on a double a battery you'll get six hours out of that bumping it up from one lumen to 50 lumen just gives you more of a serviceable light if you're out and about here you can see hopefully you'll be able to see that you can see more from the trees and the path ahead 
Another long press will take you up to the medium mode. The medium mode bumps it from 50 lumens up to 150 lumens. With the rechargeable battery, you will get three hours. And it's actually the same for the AA battery. You'll get three hours from this as well. And again, this just gives you more of a flood. You can see more from the trees. You can see more of the path ahead of you as well uh, with the 150 lumens medium mode. And then the high mode, or um, I mean, it's the top mode, turbo mode, high mode, hold it again, and then it will kick that into the high mode. High mode is 400 lumens on the uh, rechargeable battery. And then after 10 minutes, which I think is really good, being able to, using these the, the heat sinks here on the back, you can keep it on the high mode for 10 minutes, then it will then bump down to 250 lumens. So at 400 lumens, you'll get 10 minutes, and then when it bumps down to um, 100 and sorry, 250 lumens, you'll get one and a half hours out of that. And that's using the internal battery, the, the, the rechargeable battery that's on here. If you're using a double A battery, it won't go up to 400. It'll actually be 250 lumens uh, and you'll get one and a half hours out of those 250 lumens. Um, then it's a, it's, a, it's a press to turn it off. If you want to use the strobe mode, that is a double press and then you'll get to use the strobe mode which uses the uh, 250 lumens to use the strobe mode which is, which is really quite nice. I don't really tend to use the strobe or the lumen mode, uh, sorry the strobe or the uh, the SOS mode. This is the SOS mode, I think I might have just said it's, it's the strobe, it, it is the SOS mode. Now, as far as the, the, the lens on this, I believe, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I'd certainly like to hear down in the comments if I've got this right, but this is a compound lens on here, so you've got two styles of lenses within the single lens, almost like a variable focus. So, in the middle here, you have a normal style lens, so when you put this, when you put this out, oh, sorry, I just turned it off. You do get quite a nice water hot spot in the middle. Um, the hot spot is quite focused, but because of the compound lens round the outside, you, if, hopefully if you can see here, it allows that to have that nice rich hot spot, but then forces the rest of it out. So you actually get, when, when you hold this or you have this against your head, you've got 175 degrees of flood from this. So not only can you see what's in front of you, but it gives you a very good um, view of, of what's in your periphery as well. And I think that's where this whole advantage comes in with, with the clip and being able to use this. So I mentioned the clip before. To take the, to put it into the clip, you have to unscrew the end, slide it into the clip there, and then and then screw the end back in. Now, I did mention, I, I, I'm i I'm at odds with this. I know sometimes I talk about if there's anything that I'd change, and this would be the one bit that I'd change, but I think I can see in my head why they've done it this way. Oh, that's bizarre. We've certainly gone very dark there again. Sorry about that. Um, so, the way that there's a there's a small kind of ratchet or tension tooth system in this so you can you can turn it around that way but if you can see on the barrel of the actual torch itself here you have these little notches so those notches when it is in there are some teeth small little retractable teeth on the inside here so that if you have it on your forehead these will click into position so I think that's great and I think that's the reason why they've held it within this ring and you have to take the end off. If I would change anything about it, I'd probably turn this into a tougher rubber so that you can you can actually push it into it. But I think if you did that it would make it hard to be able to to chain to turn this round. So I I, I I think I can see why they chose to do it this way. I think it just needs a little bit more finessing. I don't know how, and I, I'm not really too sure how much I need to go over this because having used it, it, it does work well. It's just a shame 
that it takes a little bit longer for you to be able to take it out. Although I do appreciate that this is a flashlight that is designed to have this tail cap removed more than other flashlights because you have to take this off in order to be able to recharge it. Um, but you have 360 degree turn here which is great. There's uh, sufficient clicks in there so that you can get it just to the right angle. You want it there, but you need to turn up just a little bit. You can do, you can turn. And again, this will turn 360 degrees round as well. So you've got every sort of option for you there. On the, the actual clip itself, you can put this onto anything. Uh, and there is, the, there's an extra fastening clip here. So what you do is you look, just pop this out. Uh, then you can put that put the headband into there and then you can close that so that you can you can you, know, you can have this wherever you want it but this little clip isn't limited to the headband the headband I've used and I've used it a little bit whilst out and about just to you know how does it feel how does it fit again around my huge head but you're only limited by your own imagination as how you can use this. If you want to put it on a sternum strap, you can do whilst walking around, you can put it on a strap here. If you've got a little pocket on a, on a jacket and you don't want to open your jacket, you can clip it on there. You can get it just at the right angle whilst walking. Or even if you know, you've forgotten the head strap and you want to put it on your own hat, you know? There you go, we're on, we're off and we're walking, we can see ourselves in the dark. This little clip is the main reason that, as I mentioned before, I've just kept it on this. It's not bulky, it's not an additional weight that you're gonna have to think that this feels like two separate items. It really does feel like this is meant to stay on here and it's the main reason that I've, 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 I've not took it off. It works as a great addition, and I think if you got one of these, then you should, you should, I, I, I've certainly kept it on. One of the other things that I quite like as well, because it's reasonably small, if I get in quite close here, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the screen, but it keeps the actual lens itself roughly between your eyes. What you get with some of these larger ones is, because they're so wide, the light source itself is just here. So it's directed in at an angle, which gives you a strange kind of perspective because everything that you look at, the light is coming from this side and there's always a shadow over here or you know whichever side that you've got it. Whereas when you have this on and it's here right, right in the middle of your, of your eyes, you don't get that strange kind of canted shadow that you get from from uh, from from other lights, it's, it's very very easy and simple to just be able to re to remove this, move it around, put it on a sternum strap. There, it's on, and then you know you're away. You you're reading a map. You you're doing whatever it is that you need to do. <laughs> now, with Wuben being completely new to me. Um, you know, I'd, I'd not tested any of their products before. I, I didn't really know what to expect. And that's not a good or a bad thing. I hadn't got anything else of their products to set a, uh, a, a benchmark against. So really, my opinions on this compare to other flashlight manufacturers. And I definitely have to say that I'm very impressed. I think the form factor on this, you know, I did mention that some things that I'd slightly change, but I don't think that they're deal breakers, mainly because I can see, or at least in my head, I, I, I think I can understand the decisions behind those, um, the implementation of, of the, the, the mainly it's around the clip on this the, the light itself I think is is a great light and I think the clip it's it's one of those where I think this is this is more than the this is more than the sum of its parts is that the right is that the, I think that's that's the right way around because I think as a package you get all of that together. Now, a lot of these sort of lights, I, I tend to find that I just use the light. I don't use the headband, I don't use the clips and all of that other stuff. I just use the light and I use it for EDC. But with this one, this is the first one that I've genuinely thought, I'm not taking this off its clip because when I've been testing it, when I've been carrying this on, on, a, on a daily basis, 
this is the first one that it's been so easy to clip it to my hat, to clip it to my coat if I'm out walking the dogs and I've, I've got a, a bag with me. It, it's so simple and so easy and just convenient to be able to clip it to so many different things that I've genuinely not took it out of this. The only times that I've took it out of this, you know, it's for the in, it's for the gram, um, and, I, and I've been taking pictures with it on Instagram. Hey, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Morlando underscore EDC. Shameless plug. Um, but it it really is the first one that I've just gone. No, it it should live and stay in this. With the clip being so small when I've took it out to be able to try and find something, it's not been this cumbersome thing that I've, I've had to wrestle out of my pocket. And I suppose on the flip side, when it's in my pocket, it doesn't feel like an extra piece of equipment that I'm having to carry the two together. It's, it's all very light and very small and very compact. So uh, I think that was a bit of a waffle, but I, I, I generally am very impressed with this and um, yeah, I, don't, I think I was going to go on to something else then, but I, th I think that's that's really where I should put it, is that for my first look at a Wuben product, for my first look at a smaller headlamp EDC light like this, I'm, yeah, I, I, I do, I think, I think it's great, and I think it would be a worthy addition to an EDC. I think this is great for on body carry if you want to keep it in a pocket but I think this is great especially with the price these aren't too expensive if I remember rightly if you check the Wuben website at the moment I think and this is at the time that this was posted um, I think they're also 30% off I, I will double check that and I'll, I'll, I'll leave it here whether it is or not um, but to maybe get a few of these which I think I probably am going to do just by how, how much I've, I've used this one is to have one that you keep on you and then maybe a couple that you have in different bags maybe one for the glove box um, especially with the different magnets and stuff that it's gone here I probably I, do you know what I, th I think I've been a little unfair well not unfair because I think I've, I've said you know what when I said that you know I like this I think I genuinely do go the next step I think this is a great product I really do think that this is a great product I will leave all of Wuben's links below. I want to say thank you for Wuben sending this out to me. Certainly when I get contacted by manufacturers and they contact me to ask if I'd like to uh, look at a product and give my own opinion on it, I certainly take that as a, as a massive honor that I've, uh, that I've been contacted to uh, from, from you guys. So thanks. He is looking forward to 2022. I'd certainly love to see more of your products. Uh, but yeah, all of their links will be below. All of my social media links will be below. As it is YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Really, I'm trying to see if I can build on my likes and subscribes this year. Let's see if we can hit 10K by the end of 2022. But for now, stay safe, stay Morelander and stay EDC.